Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. So I'm gonna start the game. And I did a video yesterday. It was also about Starbound. And I am still in the mine. Stuck in the mine somewhere. Um... And I need to find a way. There we are. I really don't know how we're gonna get out of here because we, if you saw the last episode, we had enough core fragments, um, but we just couldn't find the thing because we couldn't really find the entrance to the mine but yeah this has really never happened to me before oh wait i can always beam up i just want to find my way back but if i don't find it in like five minutes then i'm just gonna beam up there we go found it now we just have to um, we just have to find the gate console thingy. You already got that chest. Oh my gosh. How does it even, okay. I'm just gonna kill you too. So. Okay, there we go. There's a gate somewhere. Well, it shows an arrow up over here or in the right hand corner. It shows an arrow where it is, but the arrow hasn't been moving, so I don't even know if it works. Probably the hill that I usually go up. I thought so. Get away from my house. You too. As long as monsters are like not up to here, I'm fine. Okay. It still doesn't look like it's moving that much. I don't know if that's a problem or what usually happens. In my other accounts, it usually moves. So maybe I'm, I just have to go straight for it? I don't know. Wow, I actually jumped over the gates this time. Do I even have, here. If I can't get the third try, then it's useless. You know what? There. Now it's all good. And soon you're gonna die. Oh, okay. This is weird, they have different colored grass. I know when you upgrade the manip, what is it called? Matter manipulate, whatever it's called. When you upgrade it, you could like paint blocks, other colors, and sometimes I would paint the dirt brown, cause I guess this is light brown, but there's like brown, green, blue, it's pretty cool. 
And then another thing you get for it is you could actually collect water. Oh my gosh, we're actually here. We, you could collect water. Wait. Yes, 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 yes. Another message is running through. I don't know what it is because... Okay, everybody, welcome to the outpost. Um, this is the outpost where in my other accounts I do lots of shopping. There's tons of stores where you can buy all this cool stuff. And I just think it's so cool. Pet, all sorts of stuff. Um, we're going to go, actually I kind of want to do this guy's quest first. Do I even have that much? I'm gonna do it and see until. That's fine, Clay. 10. Oh no. I'll come back to you later. Okay. I know where the source is. Um, this whole story will come here. I won't skip it. So you guys could read through it. I'm gonna go pretty fast though, like really quick, cause it's kinda late here, and you could just pause the video if you wanna hear the whole story. I've already heard it, obviously, but I think it's pretty cool. So, not today, I don't have good enough weapons. You'll see what I mean later. protector okay after the terrible destruction of earth which didn't actually happen meet now okay you got Esther right and she's the grand protector and Discovered things, forgotten. This is where the good story happens. You have to read this. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for aeons, whatever. But this tranquility provided night. Oh my gosh, I can't read that. Look in the background, that looks cool. The rune could not... Okay, so this guy created a monster type of thing. And... Um, he couldn't stop it, I think. That's what the story is. Rose against the rune and succeeded in sealing it away. But in doing so, the cultivator... Oh my gosh, it's power completely got rid of it. Before its last energies disappeared, the cultivator gifted its chosen races with. Yes, when you get that, you will complete Starbound. On my other accounts, I have the green and blue one, and it will probably take me a couple of years to get the rest, but I don't even know how you win them. I just discovered to have them when I got it. Yes, life is dangerous here, obviously. You could tell by the music. Now we get something from her. Pete Shipyard. Hmm? Okay. Mint Humberg. I have no clue. Well, I think it's a mint. Like, I've known that. I always walk up to her to just say that awkward sentence. Oh my gosh, that scared me. So you could get stuff with that. You'll see later what I mean. But yes, that is the story of Starbound. Um, you know what? I'm just going to save it here so if I ever... Nope. 
Let's see if I put, I, I literally don't know. Usually could do that. These towers look new. Like I was just playing on that. It might have been there. I don't know. Penguin Pete, he's right over here. He's gonna fix our ship. Nope. Okay, this is the Urkius Mining Facility. I always say faculty, but this time I got it right. Hooray. Now, I'm just gonna go here and get some copper bars, maybe. It's a lot of money. Whatever, it's worth it. Okay, I'm ready everybody. We're gonna get our first dash tech. It will help us speed. And these courses are amazing. Okay. working it's litter oh it is it's just that i wasn't using my brain there we go Starting it over, great. I have no. Now what? Oh, there we go. You kidding me? This is ice. Start with this one too. These courses are so fun, I just think they're extremely difficult. That isn't gonna work out too well. Mm. Come on, go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, almost. Probably after I finish this course, I am going to log off. Great. Gosh. I did it. I did it. Now I get a new thing called a dash tech and then there's another one and on and on and on. I'm gonna get his quest, get a reward bag or whatever the heck he's gonna give me. 10 silver bars? How much of this stuff do you need? Well, Looks like I have to go buy some more silver bars. That will be fun, right? Right? I 
think we're good. So, let's go. I'm ready to do the thing. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if this is the ball thing because I literally never read anything that the people say. Pulse jump. It's like this. I swear that was farther. for a sec I was like oh my gosh my teleporter is actually in the water a dream come true are you kidding me this will take me a while and trust me this stuff is very helpful and fun but when you do this it gives you an advantage and yet it is one of the hardest courses to do, which I just finished. Round of applause again. Now, to go back there, get our reward or money or whatever the heck we get from him. Um, then we're going, I don't, luck, luckily I didn't. Aha, 10 gold. Decline. Let me see if I have that much. I don't have any gold bars. Wow. We'll see how much they cost. And it depends because I only have 865 coins. Hmm. On the next thought, uh, we are just... I know. I've been there. Oh, by the way, guys, a colony deed is one of the coolest things in the entire world. Um, we're not going to use our money on it, but you put it in your home, and people could come spawn to help you. Some of them are janitors. One of mine was a coffee maker, and, um... Oh, if you want to see it downstairs, I'll show you. It's all about penguins. This used to be a weapon shop, but it closed because eventually, I don't know what happened, but it flooded. Um, this is a mech, mech place, and I haven't unlocked anything yet, but it is the coolest thing. Is he my partner now? That guy is cool. This is a dreadwing. No. Guys, um, these quests are actually kind of hard. But Ethan's not back from Switzerland yet. So we're going to have to wait a while on them because he's going to have to help me. I've died about like 24 times doing both of them. It isn't good. And you lose lots of pit pick... Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Pixels, because every time you die, you lose 10% of pixels, which isn't helpful at all. Wait, is it what I had for dinner in here? Yep. Wait. Oh, yeah. For dinner, I had an egg, and I had some, not raw bacon, but bacon. And I had, not empty bottle. Where is it? Where's the drink that, yep. I had milk. I knew they had milk in there. 
Now we have dash tech, and it's pretty awesome. Oh, by the way, you should never try this, but I actually have. Um, you go when you could jump very high. This dash tech, or whatever the heck this is, doesn't help. See, you'll die. Um, there you go. You'll die, but you could go up by the wall. Oh my gosh, the bunny is so cute. Um, you could go, we're gonna name it Peanut. And you could go up by the wall and it will show you, um, this thing and you have to jump and jump and jump to get up there. But, hey guys, I think we're gonna end the video here. I'll see you in the next episode. So make sure to drop a like and to subscribe and to put on the no notification bell. Bye.